Picture this. In 2020 alone, India saw over 2 billion UPI transactions. That's more than credit card and debit card transactions combined. The UPI, or Unified Payments Interface, has rapidly become a popular way to make payments in India, thanks to its convenience and security. From purchasing groceries to paying utility bills, UPI has made transactions a breeze, allowing millions to carry out their daily transactions with ease. With numbers like these, one can't deny the UPI revolution sweeping across the nation. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The government, recognizing the importance of UPI payments, has recently introduced some significant changes. The Reserve Bank of India, the nation's central banking institution, has been instrumental in these adjustments. RBI Governor Shakti Das made a crucial decision last Friday that is set to reshape the landscape of digital transactions in the country. The governor announced an increase in the UPI limit specifically for hospitals and educational institutions. Previously the limit was set at 1 lakh, but it has now been expanded to a substantial 5 lakhs. This change is a clear indication of the government's commitment to streamline digital transactions, particularly in critical sectors such as healthcare and education. With these changes, the government aims to make UPI transactions more accessible and efficient, especially for critical sectors like healthcare and education. But what does this mean for the average UPI user? Well, the changes are likely to have a significant impact. The potential for increased transaction limits can change the way people use UPI payments. Imagine being able to pay for big ticket items, like a car or a down payment on a house, right from your phone. That's a game changer. It makes transactions not just easier, but also more accessible. Indeed, with these new rules, UPI payments are set to become even more integral to the Indian economy.